Hi family, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today's video is going to be a house update and decorate with me video. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting, waiting, waiting. I started doing the living room and then for some reason I stopped. Well, the reason I stopped was because I didn't really have a lot of motivation just because, you know, a lot of stores are not open and for me, I like to really physically look at things before I buy them, especially for my house. Sometimes when you see stuff online, it doesn't look the same when it comes, especially now that everything is going crazy. I just didn't want to go through the process of ordering things and returning them and trying them out. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to slow down and take a break. So I started to shop online. I ordered some stuff. I tried them out. And surprisingly, a lot of the stuff I got actually fit. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I already got and also to set them up with you guys so that you guys can see the whole process. So I think last time when we left off, I think we did the living room. So the living room is completed. But I did switch up a lot of stuff. And I keep telling you guys, I might do these decor videos, but the next time you see another video, things might look very, very different because I'm consistently or constantly trying things out, changing them out just to see what fits where. So with that being said, today we're gonna be doing the dining room. I'm not completely satisfied with all the stuff I got for the dining room, especially the chairs, but that's what we have right now. So we're gonna keep those, but once everything opens back up again, we might go out and look for stuff, or if we do decide that we actually like these pieces, we'll keep them. So that's where we are right now. So with all that being said, let's get to decorating. So this is what the dining room is looking like. We do have some stuff there, but as you can see, it's just a dining table. We have a shelf back there. And I forgot to tell you guys as well, we already put the curtains up for the dining room. And then over here, we have that um, chest. Um, I'm not sure what those are called, but it's just for storage. And then right on top of it, we ended up switching that glass piece from the living room up here to the dining room. So this is what this piece looks like close up. It's a really, really nice piece and it's huge on storage too. And as for the mirror piece, you'll see that it looks way, way better over here. And I'm gonna do a living room update and show you guys what we ended up putting in the living room. But this is what that mirror looks like right there. And then on this side, this is what the curtain looks like for the window. So we have this silver one here that matches the one in the living room. And then we also have this sheer um, white, off-white one that um that also matches everything else the reason we have this white one is just to cover things up if we feel like we need more privacy but we rarely ever use it so again that is what that looks like and then this is the rug we ended up choosing for the dining room it kind of matches the one we have in the living room as well it's off-white and it has this pretty little detail on it very very nice and then for our dining table this is what our dining table looks like it is a round table i love 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 round tables and it has some really really nice details as you can see it has like fruit i think that's a pumpkin in the middle it has some grapes it has some um just all kinds of fruits in there and the glass is pretty big so we're gonna do four chairs around the table and you'll get to see that in a minute and then on this wall as you can see that wall looks kind of empty so we're gonna end up putting something there i got a really really nice shelf that i've been waiting for forever that's what's gonna go on this wall right here yep we're gonna place it right here and it's super tall so it's gonna go all the way up and just sit there so pretty so first thing first i'm gonna go ahead and design this side and then we'll move on to the rest of the other places so let's get started
guys, this is what this area looks like. We have some greenery there. We just have a few accessories there. Absolutely gorgeous. I told you guys I was gonna mix my metals. So we have some silvers and some golds going on. But real quick, this is just some plant leaf that I decided to put there. I put the black vase there to give it some color. Also on this side, I have this beautiful tray here. I've showed you guys this tray before. I just put these two candle holders here and I put this vase here. I don't know what to put in there yet, but I'm just gonna set it there. And there's also another one behind it. Super nice, super big. I don't know what to put in there yet so i set it there as well on this side i have a set going on i have those two vases there you can put flowers in them or you can choose to leave them like that for now i'm gonna leave them like that just because if i put anything there and then if i put the shelf over here that's gonna overpower everything here so i'm just gonna leave that simple but over here i have this little thing um i think I'm not sure what this is, honestly, but you guys have seen that before as well. I just went ahead and put that there. But yeah, so that is what that area is looking like. So next, we're gonna move on to our shelf. So Nandy was supposed to be watching Nadia, making sure that she doesn't get in my way. But clearly he wasn't doing a great job because she kept on escaping and coming to where I was. She actually likes to go to the window in the dining room and just sit there and look outside. So this is what our shelf is looking like. I am absolutely in love with this. So just real quick, I've already showed you guys the pieces on here, but I can just walk you guys through a few stuff. So this basket right here is gonna be for Mills. This is just a pot of flowers. And it also covers the cord of that thing right there because I hate cords. I hate it when they're showing and just messy all over the place. This is a pumpkin. It's not really appropriate for right now, but it's really pretty. So I decided to keep that there. On the second shelf, we just have this thing right here. That is actually storage. This thing right here is actually a diffuser. So how this works is you just open it up right here. You add some water to it. And then I have a few essential oils. So I'm gonna be using this one. This is lavender. I'm just gonna open it up, add a few drops in here, and then I'm gonna put the lid back on it, turn it on, 
and voila. That thing smells amazing. And the best part about it is once it's covered, you don't really see anything come out. There is no noise, nothing comes out of it. It just sits there really pretty and it just looks like a regular decor piece. And that is one of the reasons I love it so much. And then over here, I have that vase and some flowers. Up on this second shelf, I just have some books right here. I have that cute little piece right there. I have a pineapple there. This actually is a cake stand. I actually have two of them and I didn't know what to do with the other one. So I was like, let me just put it here. And then inside of it, I have that cute little glasses that I got a long time ago from, I think it was Burlington. I just put that in there. It looks absolutely cute there. Up here, I have those and then I have that. And then all the way on the top, if you're an OG, you know what that is. But if you're not, that was given to me by one of my clients and I thought it was super cute. So I just decided to put that up there. So that is what that area looks like. I am in absolute love with it. Okay, next we're gonna move on to our dining table. I showed you guys these before in another haul but we decided to go with these gray ones because first of all it gets a little contrast from the um, white living room set it also matches the rug perfectly and as you can see the chairs have some gold details on it as well that is why we loved it because it matches perfectly with our shelf over there and back to this area as i was telling you the reason i decided to leave those empty was because if i put anything else in there i feel like it's going to overpower everywhere the shelf by itself is a statement the mirror up there is a statement so i just wanted to keep it simple but i did want to put some greens there just to give the living room a little bit of life and also this flower this is just a regular flower i've had this for a while i actually had it in my old apartment and i just really really like it and it gives a little spring feel to the living room so that's why i decided to go with that but that is basically it y'all that is what the dining room is looking like i absolutely love it Everything came out so nice and simple, which is exactly what I was going for. This shelf piece here is my absolute favorite. I mean, look at that. That just makes a statement by itself. You guys don't know how much I waited and waited and waited for the shelf, but it was definitely worth the wait. I'm just in so much love with it. And I forgot to tell you guys about this corner over here. That is just a Claire chair and a little broom decor thing. I absolutely love that thing. I just decided to set it there for more seating. So yeah, that is what everything is looking like. I'm in so much love with this, guys. And the windows, the windows just bring in so much light and it's so peaceful, so light and so airy. And I could just go on and on and on, but I won't. <laughs> Okay, guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your patience. I love you guys so much, and thank you for all the support that you have been giving me and my family. I appreciate you guys so much. And again, thank you for 400,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you who have been watching but haven't joined the family, you are more than welcome to join. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there so you can become a part of the family. And if you did like the video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also share the video with all your friends and family. Thank you guys again so much for your love and support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.